All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brock Howard, Brock Howard Shy, Brock Howard, Brock Howard Shy, Brock Howard, Brock Howard Shy. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akim, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And I shalom to you, uh, to the few uh, sincere Akwa that are out there listening and learning as well, also. All right, and with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. Lord's willing to be edifying. And as usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakak Wadash, all right? Um, shouldn't be too long. I just got a couple of scriptures. Uh, no videos, just got a couple articles um, that I wanted to show. Pretty much a, um, just an update of what's going on in this in this man's uh, society. Uh, you know, you know a little um, <laughs> which 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 we should already know what's going on. You know, you should be watching the news for yourself. You know, being circumspect, being diligent. But for those that don't know, just a little update because this um, pretty much affects me because I'm in Florida. You know, we're in Florida, part of the GMS Orlando camp. And, um, you know, just a little update for the brothers that don't know, you know. Um, and you can clearly see where this thing is heading, man. We're, as it is written, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, all right? But this is the main article that, um, you know, inspired this lesson, but amongst amongst other, other things, all right? So um, this is off of ABC uh, 13 News, right? It says, uh, Slocky, for the record, today's date is uh, March 30th, 2020, the year of prophecy. And this is from yesterday, Sunday, March 29th, 2020, okay? Off of ABC uh, 13 News, it says, Checkpoints in place at Florida-Alabama border, okay? To limit spread of coronavirus, all right? So you can see this man is, is um, uh, we got gradually ramping things up, man, locking things down, okay? You know, like the elders always go into that word gradualism. That's we can clearly see where the thing, where where this thing is heading. You know, you know, Lord's willing that this is it, man. We in Second Ezra fifteen sixteen. You know, Jacob's trouble is right here, man. Lord's willing, because that means yeah, it's gonna be a tro a time like never before. It's gonna be uh horrible. You know, tribulation, anguish, fat, famine, pestilence, um, martial law, uh, sedition. It's a horrible time, but hey. Through much through that tribulation, that's how the kingdom is going to come in. All right, and Lord's willing, we'll be protected in the, in them times. You know, if we keep doing what we're supposed to be doing, being faithful, being diligent, you know, and we're being repentful. All right, seeking the Lord. You know, He'll protect us. He'll put that thawa around us. All right, but anyway, um, like I said, this is uh the elders always go into this term, which I'm pretty sure you you brothers are familiar with. But uh, for the for the record, just go you know bringing it out. For edification's sake, because we can clearly see that's what's happened. Gradually, he's gradually, you know, locking things down, stepping things up, you know. You know, first it was the gatherings, you know. The gatherings, he said it was, what, 500 people. Then he went down to, what, 200 people. Then gradually went down to 100, then 10 people, then 5 people. Okay, now, now last I heard they're talking about it being 2 people, gatherings down to 2 people. I was watching Al Jazeera, and um, they were talking about uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. His uh, somebody in his staff tested, so-called tested positive for the COVID-19, and uh, he's in self-isolation right now. You know, but um, they're talking about in uh, over in Jerusalem now. They're talking about because uh, the, um, they're actually revolted, just like Yahweh Shai said, man, uproars of the people. You know, that's still going on. You know. We in them times, you know. I'm kind of all over the place, but hey, it is what it is. Hey, no, but we're 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 in them times, man. Because even even uh, like it says in Matthew 24, uproars of the people, you know, sedition amongst men. We, in the midst of this uh, pestilence and this draconian legislation, uh, the people are still in uproar. Take a look at uh, China over there in Wuhan. Okay, if you if you look into it, right after they, because China they said so called. It's kind of going back to normal, right? So life is going back to normal. There's, the people are not on lockdown as much as they were before, right? People are starting to go back to work. And as soon as they did that, what happened? The people started to uh, uh, um, riot again. They started to protest, and and uh, they were throwing rocks and shit at the, at the at the at the at the, um, at the police officers, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, you can go do your own research, do your own due diligence. But I was watching on the, I was on Al Jazeera. Okay, 
that they, yeah they they still as soon as they release them you know let the people out they're still in the uproar you know so we in them times man and like I, I going back to Benjamin Netanyahu um the uh the people are in an uproar in Jerusalem because that he's talking about he's mad because he, over there is in lockdown also all right but um the people aren't trying to adhere to it man just like they're not in a uh, Babylon Babylon the Great which is America. Nobody, you know, especially Jake. Jake ain't trying to hear it. You know, you saw what happened in, in New Jersey, you know. But, but this whole, I got this article here off of Al Jazeera, you know. It, this, I like this map. It pretty much shows all, it says countries that have closed borders due to COVID-19. Okay, and it's pretty much the whole, the borders are shut. Like it says, we like, we in them time, we clearly are in these times, man. This is damn near the whole globe almost, man. Australia's locked down, you know. Completely says completely locked down. All right, you know Europe, Russia, Russia, uh, you know Asia, you know, you know, Canada's locked down. Mexico, they in La La Land. They not. They still. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Issacar, man. Issacar, I don't know. You know, you know, South America's pretty much locked down. You know, you know, partial United States, Babylon the Great, a partial lockdown. So, like, hey, like I said, and in Israel now, like I said, the people are not trying to hear it. They're um, bucking up against Benjamin Netanyahu, you know. And now he's talking about gradually, going back to the term gradualism. They're talking about now the, the public gatherings in, in Jerusalem. They're talking about just having it to, down to two people. Al Jazeera was talking about that also, you see. So, grad, this is the term, uh, this is the definition of gradualism off of Google for those that don't know. It says, uh, it's a noun, it says, a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change or, re or revolution, okay? So they do things slowly in order not to, not to cause panic, chaos. They want chaos, as we always say, uh, order out of chaos, right? And a uh, problem, reaction, solution. The solution is going to be, they're going to sweep in with what? That cashless society, this internet of things, this, this RFID microchip which is the mark of the beast, that's the solution, but they want controlled chaos, you know, they want to control the opposition, they want to control the chaos, you know, so, you know, that's why they got to get everything in place, they got to get the national guards in place, they got to get the military in place, the Gurga troops, they got to lock the border down, so then when they're, when they really come down with the hammer, you can't move, and you're accustomed, and you, you know, it's too late, you know, you know, when you when you when you really wake up to what's really going on, it'll be too late. You know, you know, because if they suddenly brought this upon you, if they suddenly implemented a chip on you, if they suddenly came down with martial law, if they suddenly stopped all your movement, you know, suddenly laid everyone off, it would cause mass payoff, a mass uh, panic, mass chaos. You know, as it did during the Great Depression, which it's going to get to that point. You know, but hey, it, gradually, you know. And this man is not is actually moving swiftly, you know. Within the matter of a couple days, days things are changing. Overnight things are changing. Things are getting more stringent, you know. You see, so it says gradualism, a policy of gradual reform rather than sudden change or revolution. Okay, and going back to the Great Depression, what happened when everything finally collapsed? It, it they caused what a run on the banks, which you saw we had a little run on it in New York. You know, the stock, you know, when the stock market finally collapsed, people lost it, man. You see? But they, they want to control it. All right? But ultimately, we know we're in that time. We're getting close. Okay? Anyway. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. So let's go back to this right here. This is the main thing, like I said, that piqued my interest. Which I already, I knew it was coming. It's coming because we're in them times, man. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. Okay? You know, we're in them times. And this thing is about to get locked down. Okay? You know, Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word, man. The internet's about to be shut down as well, you know? The men of the Lord are about to be demonized, you know? They're about to, um, you know, hey, how about some young shy? about to withdraw his men, you know? And we're in them times, man. Hey, repent, seek the Lord while he may be found. This is, like I said, off of ABC 13 News, checkpoints in place at Florida-Alabama bo Alabama border to limit the spread of COVID, of corona coronavirus. 
Okay. So it says Tallahassee, Florida. The Florida Department of Transportation is taking action to help limit the spread of the coronavirus. According to FDOT, when entering Florida, every, every, listen to this, according to FDOT, this is from yesterday, Sunday, uh, this is from yesterday, Sunday the 29th, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep, Sunday, yesterday, because today is the 30th, Monday. So anyway, it says, um, according to the FDOT, when entering Florida, every arriving traveler or responsible family member will be required to complete a travel form. A traveler form. The form requires key information, including each traveler's contact information and trip details. Okay, and they got a little picture of it. You know how they send them the checkpoints. Okay, this is off of uh, my, my, it says Florida DOT at my FDOT. Under the direct, under the direction of executive order, okay, it's an executive order. Under the direction of executive order 2086, by Governor Ron DeSantis at my at my F, my FD my my F dot Florida dot whatever in coordination with Healthy FLA and the Florida Highway Safety Motor Vehicle I think that's F FLH SMV Florida Highway Patrol FHP is provided this is a joint effort man okay this is a joint task force okay because they're all in cahoots all you see. Every this man ain't holding no punches, man. He rolling everybody out. The National Guards, he got the the the, the local law enforcement. You see, but it ain't gonna be enough because the scriptures tell you that the, the, the stormtroopers are gonna come. The NATO troopers are gonna come. You know, you you know Russia, the Gurga troops, the stormtroopers gonna come over here eventually. But we in them times. We, you see, we could clearly see where we could clearly see where this thing is headed. Okay, it says uh, under the direct. I read that already. It says. Uh, is providing guidance to motorists entering Florida from areas with significant community spread. Oh, because, yeah, kind of, I forgot to. They had that cruise ship that came in, I, be, I believe it was in Fort, Fort Lauderdale. It had, like, four dead passengers on the ship, man. So this thing is serious, man. This thing is, you know, this thing is, hey, we, we, this thing is popping off, man. Things are, are uh, he, heating up uh, uh, quickly, man. Uh, 2020 surely is the year of prophecy. Uh, as Elder Apostle Tahar uh, rightfully coined it, man. Okay. It says, to assist with the implementation and enforcement of Executive Order 2086, staff will be, I'm going to look that up on my own time. I'm going to look this up further, too. i got to see what's in, what's all in this executive order. It says, to assist with the implementation and, and, inf and, and enforcement of Executive Order 2086, it says, staff will be at the checkpoint at I-10, at the Alabama line, 24 hours a day. Wow, round the clock. Wow. See, they ain't fucking off, man. This this place is being locked down, man. Wow. To assist, hey, man, you better seek the Lord while he may be found, man. <laughs> hey, you can wake up tomorrow and all hell is breaking loose. You can wake up tomorrow and they are implementing the chip, and you know. And you got to, hey, man. Hey, I know what we know. The men of the Lord, we know what we're doing. But what are you going to do in that day? As Elder Apostle the Heart said, what you going to do in that hour of temptation? Okay? We know what we're doing. That's why we're out here pushing this truth, man. Warning you people. Okay? We're fully persuaded. Are you? Okay? Because this is serious, man. You better seek the Lord while he may be found and, and pray and fast and, you know, ask for protection and guidance and strength, man. Okay? Because we're coming into some serious times, man. Okay? And, <clears throat> Shalakia, in Amos 8, 8 and 11, like I said, I believe, the, uh, the famine of the word is coming, man. It's close. It's near. Okay? They're about to lock this shit down. Okay? They're setting everything up. They get the infrastructure for the for this 5G network, this cashless society, this, that's, this infrastructure is already laid, man. Okay? All right? Now they're just rolling out the, 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 the military, the, the might, you know? They're getting, uh, you know, t to enforce that, that, that system, man, that they're about to roll out okay this new order this new agenda okay you see we in them times man you know and they were already talking about uh postponing russian elections you know and all type of shit you know hey this thing might pop off man okay lord's willing it does hopefully hopefully we close man 
you know? It says, to assist with the implementation and enforcement of Executive Order 2086, staff will be at the checkpoint at I-10 at the Alabama-Florida line, 24 hours a day with approximately 16 troopers in 12-hour shifts. A standing troop, a standing army, man, as the, as the elder apostle to heart said, man, they, you know, round the clock, man, get used to seeing, get used to seeing military and law enforcement everywhere you go. That's like the elder said, okay, everywhere you're going to, everywhere you go, you're going to see law enforcement, national guards, army, you're going to see military, man. This, this is becoming more and more military state, okay, and they're, they're using this COVID-19 as an, as a guise, Okay. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. It says, They said that no commerce is impeded and commercial vehicles may bypass the checkpoint to ensure timely delivery of products across the state. Okay? That's pretty much it off of that. Alright? And um, you, you should already have heard about this one too. Okay? It says, uh, I don't know, what is this? Like? New York, this is off the New York Times. Okay? It says Rhode Island pulls over New York New Yorkers to keep the virus at bay. Okay, so all the way from up north, all the way to the to the south, you can't run nowhere, man. You can't go nowhere. You ain't gonna be able to escape. There's no escaping it. Okay, this this man is locking everything down. All right. So it says um. New it says uh police and National Guard troops are deployed to warn visitors. They must self quarantine as local local as lo as local resentment builds towards yeah, kind of like it. as local resentment builds to a that like I said sedition amongst men all right as as it says in Second Ezra I believe it's fifteen or sixteen it says they're not going to regard their princes man okay it's going to come to that man okay the militia all these uh all these um. You, these preppers, they they quiet right now, but they watching. The men of the Lord, you hear us loud and loud and clear. But hey, these these preppers, these uh these skinheads, these uh these left, you know these you know these nationalists and shit. What you think they thinking right now? Why you think they buying up guns? They see what time it is, man. Okay, it's high time to wake out of sleep, man. Okay, this thing is about to pop off, man. Race wars, civil unrest. Okay, we right there. Famine, not the famine of food and of the word, man. Okay, and Esau knows it, man. That's why he's he's setting everything up. He got the um the the the, the law enforcement at the at the grocery stores already now. You see, you know that's been brought out. You know people are starting to see these these uh, more and more tanks and military equipment, Humvees and shit, more and more uh, 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 throughout the United States. What do you think that means? Uh, what do you think? What, what do you think that's for? For play, play? Okay. It says police and national guards, guard troops are deployed to warn visitors they must self quarantine as local resentment builds toward people fleeing coronavirus hotspots. So they trying to flee. They trying to flee. People are trying to run. Where's your faith, man? It says the national guard and Rhode Island state police set up. A checkpoint just over the Rhode Island Connecticut border. Hey, and they trying to flee. That's why I told you about Florida. They're gonna try to come to Florida. I've been said that. They're gonna come try to come to Florida because we're the further south, man. And they, they, they might think they could cop on a little boat and sail to the to the Bahamas or some shit. You know, you know how niggas think. You know? That's what people think. They wanna flee, man. They're gonna try to flee. So they, they locking all the borders down. You ain't gonna be able to escape, man. You know? Especially once this our temptation is is, is implemented, this mark of the beast. Hey, that no man may buy or sell save he that have the mark. That's what's coming, man. Okay? That's what's coming. You ain't going to be able to run nowhere. Okay? The drones are going to be out. The storm. Hey, we coming in some horrible times, man. That's why Ezra said, woe is me. Woe is me. Okay? It says the National Guard and Rhode Island State Police set up a checkpoint just over the Rhode Island, Connecticut border where they were... Advi where they were advising New Yorkers to maintain a 14-day quarantine after arriving in Rhode Island, okay? It says police officers were, were watching, hey, like they show you in like a Resident Evil, you know, how they be locking, how they lock down Raccoon City, I think that's what it was, or whatever, how they lock the cities down in Bushwick, 
what what's that with the what's the other one? Twenty one bridges. They finna the purge. They finna lock these places down, man. Okay, and all all un, all manner of hell is about to un, uh, uh, be unleashed, man. Okay, it says police officers were rot were were watching Rhode Island's highways, bridges, and bus stops. So you wasn't go, you wasn't sliding out of there. No, the bridges and the bus stops, man. The trains. They was watching everything, man. Damn, Esau locking everything down for real. The Wadi Habashim was shy. We close. We close. Police officers were watching Rhode Island's highways, bridges, and bus stops. National Guard troops National Guard troops were trudging through resort towns with clipboards, knocking on doors. They were going door to door. They were all hunting for fleeing New Yorkers and their tell and their telltale tell, tell Empire State license plates. Oh, man. That's beautiful. Oh, man. We're getting close. But, hey, dude, we, we, you know, that's how they're going to come for us, man. They're going to come to your job. They're going to come to your house. You're going to, hey, <laughs> we're getting close, man. You know, we're getting close. It's beautiful. Beautiful times. Beautiful times. Police officers were, were watching Rhode Island's highways, bridges, and, and bus stops. National Guard troops were trudging through resort towns with clipboards knocking on doors. They were all hunting for fleeing New Yorkers and their telltale Empire State license plates. The states are increasingly, increasingly finding themselves pitted against one another. Sedition amongst men. All right. Hey, what did the, what did Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai say? If the, if Satan be divided against Satan, how how then should his kingdom stand? All right, and this place is divided, like we've been saying. All right, classes, families, you know, religions. This place is is confusion, Babylon. You see. So it says the states are increasingly. Hey, that's why it's going to be civil unrest. You know, not just race wars, but class wars. You know, it says the states are increasingly. Finding themselves pitted against one another, okay. Gradually, gradualism. It's it's oh, slowly but surely things are, are are heating up. As a woman in travail, okay. When they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them, man. Okay, and sudden destruction is really coming, man. Okay, Jacob's tr Jacob trouble, okay. A time like never before. Daniel chapter twelve verse one, okay. It says the states are increasingly finding themselves pitted against one another as they bid for scarce medical equipment. So every state for themselves, man. Hey, and, and, and it's going to boil down to every man for themselves, man. Okay. It says that a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, uh, you know, for the lack of bread. Roughly paraphrasing, man. They're going to go through spoiling houses, man. Okay. We in them times. Okay. It says the states are increasingly gradualism. The states are increasingly finding themselves pitted against one another as they bid for scarce medical equipment, angle, an angle for federal aid, and demand that that non-residents self and demand that non-residents self quarantine. It says few though have gone yet to the lengths Rhode Island has tried to keep. It says few though have gone yet to the lengths Rhode Island has to has to try to keep the potentially infected at bay. That's like a damn run-on sentence, man. Ain't you the damn New York type? Who the hell wrote this shit, man? What kind of run-on sentence is that, man? <laughs> it's a lock here. It says, um, it says, few, let me read it how it's about. Few, though, have gone yet to the lengths Rhode Island has to try to keep the potentially infected at bay. That's a run-on sentence. Especially those from New York. The biggest hot spot in the cut man, you could have split that up. Come on, Op. The hell is this, man? See, the, the, these people are not wise, man. These people are just <laughs> you're damn. Oh, I, I bet this motherfucker probably got two masters in uh in, in uh in uh writing and shit, English and shit, English major. You know, <laughs> work, write work for the New York Post. What kind of kind of crap is? Who's editing this shit? What, what happened to the editor? <laughs> it's a lock here. Hey, I'm just thinking, uh, a, a, a mingle, Yahweh has mingled a perverse spirit in Egypt, man, causing them to err, man. The hell is this shit? Anyway, lock here. Governor, uh, gotta have a little bit of fun like the elders say, man. This place is through. This is beautiful. 
it's just exciting times, man. Esau just exposed Bear, staggering, drunk, you know, exposed themselves, scared. Jake scared, bugged the fuck out. Don't nobody know what's going on but the prophets, the servants, humbly, you know. And we warning you, man, repent, seek the Lord while he may be found. Stop playing around, okay? You're going to wake up and wish that you took heed, man. You're going to wake up and everything, your phone going to be shut off, your internet going to be shut off, okay? You see? And you're going to you're gonna be presented with that, with that test, man, that chip. Are you going to take it or are you not, okay? So it says, Governor Gina, uh, how the hell you say that? Governor Gina Romano, Roma, 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 however the hell you say that, a Democrat said on Friday that if New Yorkers entering the state did not quarantine themselves for 14 days after arrival, they would be fined. And if they continued to flout the order, arrested. Okay? So you get the idea. You get the idea. They ain't not playing around. And, and this thing is gradually heating up. Okay, you know, this thing is progressing. Um, even my, my so-called island is on there. <laughs> That's locked down. Anyway, Salaki, let me uh, get some scriptures and we out of here, man. We out of here. Because you got the idea. This is beautiful. I ain't going to stay long. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, straight to the point, uh, Job 14 and 4. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one, okay? So Esau eat him. You can't change him. You can't save him, okay? He can't get right. He's the wicked, okay? As it says in Psalms, okay? Uh, Psalms, uh, King David said, Psalms 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, dis disappoint him, okay? So the wicked is a person. There's an actual wicked people, okay? It's Esau Edom, okay? The red Hebrew Edomite, according to Malachi, the border of wickedness. Idumia, Edom. Okay, it says, Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Okay, it says, Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, you see, and that wicked is Esau, Edom. So, this is Job 14 and 4. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, Esau, Edom. Okay, okay, you had your fun, you had your time to rule. Okay. To destroy the earth, okay? You know, to have the fatness of the earth and live by the sword, as Isaac said, okay? But hey, your time is coming to an end. It's our turn now, baby, okay? Because Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. It's the end of your empire. You're falling quickly, like lightning, okay? It says, seeing his days are determined, okay? Like sand in the hourglass, man. And the sand is running, down, running out, okay? The number of his... The number of his months are with thee, with who? With Yahweh, okay? Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, okay? So, hey, it's a certain time when Yahweh is going to say enough is enough and, 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 and send Yahweh Shai back, man, okay? And we that we're drastically, uh, uh, and send Yahweh Shai back to redeem his men, okay? His chosen, all right? The, the chosen men and women predestined for salvation out of Yasharala and to what bind the nobles, the kings, okay? You know, and bring righteousness on earth. So there's a it's, it's an allotted time when Yahweh is going to say is enough, enough, redeem them. Okay, and that day is drastically approaching, man. Okay, Yahweh Shai is coming. Okay, so this is um, Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Okay, that's us, the elect, the hopeful elect. Okay, because we're, we're looking for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, okay? That's Esau, Edom, the other nations, and two-thirds, because they love it here, okay? They love this Babylon juice. They love it in Babylon. They love they love uh, wallowing in their sins. They, they hate Yahweh. They hate Yahweh Shai, and they hate his men, okay? Okay, that's why they, they're going to have to be destroyed, okay? It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. It says, woe, meaning destruction. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, okay, Esau, Edom, is come down unto you, having great wrath, okay, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Okay, going back to Job, because Yahweh set the bounds which he can't pass. And he sees, he knows, he knows he's got a short time, okay. 
He's but and that's what you see. He's coming down with these uh, draconian laws. These harsh, this harsh, harsh, slap here, harsh legislation. Okay, you know, locking all these states down, all these countries down. Okay, you see. But guess what? Hey, it's all good. Because the Lord said, hey, when he thinks he, hey, when he thinks he's winning, he's about to lose. Okay, he's gonna lose. Okay, so this is Job. Um, oh man, this whole thing, I don't want to make it long. Ah, it's Job 20 and 18, 20 and 18. It says, that which he labored for, talking about Esau, Edom, chiefly the, the, the wicked elite, man. Okay, the so-called illuminated ones, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the DuPonts, the Vanderbilts, the Kennedys, the Bushes, okay, the IMF, those people, okay, you know, the ones that really control things, chiefly Amalek, Amalekites. Okay, you know, the synagogue of Satan, it says that which he labored for, you know, the ones that are having those secret councils. Okay, your Bilderberg groups, your, you know, your damn uh, Illuminati meetings, you know, your, your uh, what's that, the, the Bohemian groves and shit, right? Your skull and bones meetings, okay, the wicked elite, your crafty council, okay, that's, you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your wicked ass enterprise, which is your new world order, which is spearheaded by the, the, the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. Okay? That's what you're laboring for, to get your birthright back. Okay? But you ain't going to get it. Okay? Job 20 and 18. That which he labored for shall he restore and shall not swallow it down. All them riches, all, them, all that gold you store, all the resources that you raped the earth for. Okay? That which he labored for shall he restore. And shall not swallow it down. Okay, hey, because what their inward thought is that their kingdom is going to go on forever. Okay, they're going to leave the, you know, their, their, their kingdom and all that power to their families, right? Their children, right? But it's not going to be so, man. Okay. That's why I said prepare slaughter for his children. Okay. That they do not rise nor fill the faces of the world, world with cities, man. You know, roughly paraphrases, man. Okay, all right. So it says that which he labored for, he shall restore. And shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. Okay. And he shall not rejoice therein. It says because he hath oppressed and forsaken the poor. Who is the poor? Yasharala. Israel. Northern and southern kingdom man. Wherever we may be. Okay. Because we're scattered. Okay. It says because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor. And, ha and he hath violently. Okay. Okay. And so that's why it says, your pride of your heart have deceived thee, thy, thy terribleness have deceived thee, you know? Thou that dwelleth in the cleft of the rocks, okay? Esau, Edom, you damn Caucasians, man, you cave dwellers, okay? You basis of men, okay? It says, because he have oppressed and forsaken the poor, because he have violently taken away an house which he builded not, okay? Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly, he shall not. It says, he shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore, therefore shall no man look for his goods. It's the main point I wanted. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Okay, right when he thinks he accomplished his enterprise, man. Right when he thinks he's winning. You know, right when the people are, everybody's chipped. Not everybody, but, you know, the masses are chipped. Okay, because it's only going to be a few. Okay, a few of us that on a grand scheme that are not gonna that are not gonna uh, bow to Esau's uh, system, man. As, as it is written, a righteous cluster. You know, the Lord has kept a righteous vine, man. You know, it's a small it's a small number of us. Okay, in the grand scheme of things, man. All right. So it says, in the and, and most people are gonna bow, man. They're gonna break. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna bow to this devil, this beast, Esau, Edom. Okay, which is what NATO and the EU, the rebirth of the Roman Empire. Okay, spearheaded by what? America, Babylon the Great, that whore. Okay, so it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Yeah, in a position of difficulty, man. All right, you know, it says, terror shall make him afraid and shall drive him to a, to his feet, man. Okay, your allies gonna fucking turn on you. Okay, okay, and then on top of that, you are gonna be led to the King of Kings, the King of Terrors, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Lord of Lords, King of Kings, man. All right. So it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, 
Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eaten. Yeah, your allies are gonna they're gonna turn turn on you, man. They're gonna burn the whore with they're gonna burn this place with fire, as is written in Revelation. They're gonna hate the whore and burn her with fire. Alright, the whore is in America, Babylon the Great. Don't you see? So it says, When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of, of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eaten. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of the steel shall strike him through the missiles. Alright, intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right, thermal nuclear destruction. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It says, it is drawn and come out of the body. Talking about those missiles out of the silos, man. It says, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. It says, terrors are upon him. Okay, and that's what's, that's what's coming, man. So, hey, you think you're going to win, but hey, at the end, Jake is going to, we're going to get the last laugh, man. All right. And uh, I'm going to close it out with Jeremiah 51 and 20 because, hey, we are part of the Lord's uh, army also, man. You know, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, man. Sabaoth, okay? So part of the armies are the angels, of course, right? And then you got the, the missiles, okay? The nukes, that's part of the Lord's army and also us, okay? He said we are fishers and then we're going to be hunters, right? So this is Jeremiah 51 and 19. It says the portion of Jacob, okay? Jacob, not everybody, because we're, we're special. We're a peculiar treasure unto the Lord, separate, holy, okay? We had a lot of his inheritance, okay? It says, the portion of Jacob is not like them. Not like who? Like the other nations, man. They're like spittle, man. They're nothing unto the Lord, okay? It says, the, we're the apple of the Lord's eye, okay? And Esau fucked up by putting his hands on us, by furthering the affliction, okay? He's going to pay. He's going to drink double. He's going to drink double of that cup, okay? He's not going to go and punish, okay? So it says, the portion of Jacob is not like them. For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts, Yahweh Shai, is his name. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, the heathens, man. Starting with Esau, Edom, okay? It says, And with thee will I destroy kingdoms, all right? Hey, that's beautiful. We're coming into them times, and you know, we just got to be faithful, be diligent. Okay, give diligence to make thy calling and election short. All right, keep pushing, like I always say, man. Anyway, hey, hey, like I always say, keep pushing. We're almost out of here. We're, we're almost out of here. All right, shalom. Wa abad babal.